State of the Union with Candy Coley, CNN Sunday morning, 9 Eastern. So today's show, I think I would start with Senator Dick Durbin. I was interested uh, in the fact that he doesn't think that there's any difference between President Obama and candidate Obama in terms of relating to the American people. Basically laid it all on the Republicans saying uh, they were the ones that are responsible for the tone in Washington, uh, presses you know, about whether the Democrats have any culpability here. He said, well, I wouldn't say we've done it perfectly, but basically the message still is what it's been. The Republicans, the Republicans, the Republicans try to get it in the way of everything we do. Also thought it was interesting talking about what would be a good night? Define a good night on election night for Democrats, the minimalist approach. He just wants to hold on to both sides of Congress. So uh, he may get that wish, he may not, uh, particularly on the House side. But uh, that is now what's defining a good Democratic night, which pretty much tells you where we are in election season that seems to favor Republicans. Moving on to the Republican women, I, I think when, when defending the pledge to America that the Republicans rolled out, uh, what we see here is that this really was was a, a document of sort of principles that didn't actually wasn't all inclusive of so many things that other Republicans wanted to see, like a balanced budget amendment. Uh, their defense is, well, this is for the immediately what we would do, not what we want to do down the line. Senator Joe Lieberman, I guess what I liked about uh, that interview was certainly uh, his take that uh, he believes the tax cut extensions for Bush will in fact take place and that uh, they will, the Bush era tax cuts, that in fact they will extend them for the middle class and perhaps for a year or so uh, for the wealthy as well. Now that happens to be what Senator Lieberman wants, so uh, maybe he waited a little, but I, I thought that was interesting. Uh, also interesting that he does not think that Hamid Karzai is bipolar, as is alleged in uh, a uh, some of the folks in the White House, as reported by Bob Woodward.